The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-445-1044. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good day from TFNN. Welcome to the July 8th, the magnificent Monday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie. Perseverance Rhodes who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And of course, the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We're going to go figure out what the bulls and the bears, what the buyers and the sellers are communicating to you and I just past, yep, 8 o'clock in the morning. That's right. If you're listening in at the normal time frame, we'll make today's show as pertinent as we can right now. We're coming to you live uh, at 8.07 a.m. And at 8.07 a.m., we've got the Dow Equity Futures down about 70 points, S&P Futures off 6, NASDAQ down 29, all about uh, a quarter of a percent to uh, Three tenths of a percent to the uh, downside. Gold's trading up six bucks. Silver is up ten pennies. Of course, I want to hear from you. So give us a call at 877 927 6648. If you can't call in, let those fingers do the walking. That's right. Send me an email, steve at tfnn.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question in our Tiger's Den. Well, any ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on magical, magnificent Monday. Of course, this is Tiger. Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Lush Show. So as we indicated, you've got uh, uh, U.S. equity futures down. Uh, gold's up six bucks, silver up 10 pennies. Let's begin with, you know, what is it that we should be watching during the day here? What's going to be important? And I think that the level to be watching, let's just uh, watch, uh, take a look at the ES Mini. Let's take a look at our two-hour time frame chart out here. Now, Look, our role, yours and mine, for whatever time frame it is that we trade, is always to be able to identify support and resistance. Really should be one of the first things that we do out here. And then also any kind of topping signals, bottoming signals, and so forth. And then when we take a look at the ES Mini on the two-hour time frame, we've got one of those Rose Momentum Indicator tops out here. Uh, we had price movement higher, doing less relative energy. Uh, we had some bearish reversal signals to confirm that top. Uh, eventually, price began trading below support. That was at six o'clock in the morning on uh, Friday, support being the bottom of its uh, profile for that specific time frame. But where price and that topping signal, all the topping signals mean is, hey, I'm going to go ahead for that specific time frame and send price back to test its level of support. Well, one level of support or another level of support on a two-hour time frame chart for the ES Mini is where price broke out. And that's the red solid line uh, that you see on my screen if you're watching this on Tiger TV. That price point is 29.76. That began on the uh, bar at 4 o'clock in the morning on uh, July the 3rd. Yeah, July the 3rd. It's a two-hour chart that we're looking at out here. The reason why that's where the breakout began versus coming all the way back to, let's say, 1,600 hours on July 1st, where you've got a, a very clear swing point, is because from the trading session that you and I just looked at, the low, which is 29.76, you then had nine successive closes, where the close of each of those candles was above the close of the bar four bars earlier. That created where price had broken out. It's not unusual for price to pull back to a level where things broke out. Likewise, on a counter trend rally to the upside where price broke down. Here we're looking at break out. So 29.76 is a real key level. Now, how do you and I know that? Well, Friday's action got rocking and rolling to the downside, and price did what? Tested and rejected 29.76. That is the key level. If price closes below 29.76 on any two-hour time frame today, and this will be especially helpful at 110 in the afternoon, 
Uh, here's what you would anticipate. An A to B equals CD to the downside out here. And that would give you a price projection. Just your one-to-one -one level would be 29.63. Remember, only 40% or 60% of the time will we see an A to B equals CD complete at its one-to-one -one level. So then you have to consider the other areas, the other areas being 1.272 expansion. That would be 29.53. And then 29.41 would be the 1.618. We're not there yet. Price is trading above 29.76. We're at 29.83. That is key support. Watch that. It wouldn't surprise me to see price go back down there, test it and reject it. But again, uh, if we do see a close below that level, well, then you know that those buyers that were there on July 3rd, well, they're still vacationing somewhere, as many are. So to me, that is really the, uh, that's the key. That's the most important chart and most important thing for you to be looking at uh, during today's trading session. So whether it's 8, 11 in the morning or whether it's 1, 11 in the afternoon out here. If we take a look at the Dow Equity Futures contract for that specific time frame, well, price here on a two hour, ah, that's the five hour time frame. I meant to go grab the 120. Let me do that. Uh, which you did see a topping signal inside the five-hour time frame out here. You also see that same pattern, the same pattern meaning the rose momentum indicator top on the two-hour time frame for the Dow Equity Futures contract. And again, it just simply went ahead and sent price down to the its breakout area. And that level is 26,762. Yes, you should be writing those levels down on a pad of paper. If at 112 in the afternoon, price is trading below that, well, then what you know is you have an A to B equals CD to the downside with an initial price projection. Well, we'll give that to you here momentarily. The one to one area would be 26,672, 1 to 1.272, 26,596. Again, I'm not saying we're there yet. I'm saying this is what to watch for. Price is trading on the two-hour time frame, by the way, below Stevie's green line. That's right around the 26,867 level out here. So, and price is trading right at the bottom of its uh, current profile. So, I'll get, watch 26,762. We're simply going to make it easy uh, for you out there. Um, the two-hour chart for the uh, Russell 2000, what did it do? I uh, didn't give us a a topping signal per se out here. <coughs> Excuse me, not like the uh, ES two hour or the Dow. Nonetheless, when price pulled back on Friday morning, it found support at fifteen sixty three seventy. That's its breakout level. And so you're going to want to watch that. And the only one that wasn't really participating in the game was the NQ. Now, when I say not participating in the game, what I mean is that price actually closed below seventy eight thirty out there. So is the NQ generating some kind of message for us? Look, this formed a Rhodes Momentum Indicator top. Uh, that was at 2 o'clock in the morning. You got the bearish reversal signal at 4 o'clock in the morning. Again, I'm referring now to July the 5th. That was on Friday. It says, okay, I'm going to send price down to test support. That was 78.30. Price actually closed below that at 10 o'clock in the morning. Out there, we're trading below that level right now. So the key level to be watching here in the NQ today, this morning, is going to be 77.9725, the low of Friday. If we see a close below that, let me give you the A to B equals CD. Let me see. Here we go. Okay, so the A to B equals CD pattern here for the NQ would take us down to the one to one would be 77.68 out there. The one one point two seven two seventy seven thirty seven key number for the NQ today. 77, 97.25. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live early from Delray Beach, Florida. Good to be with you on July the 8th. We'll be right back. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. 
The Taz Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of Taz Market Profile, the Taz Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the Taz Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at Taz has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the Taz Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the Taz order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $197 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the Taz Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the Taz Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. So we've got two questions that came in that uh, we can uh, tie together out here. The Alex wrote in, and Alex's specific question is, um, hey, Steve, hey, Alex, uh, will this week see more highs in the averages? Uh, and then we've got a question from John in the Tiger's Den, wanted to take a look at the S&P 500 chart specifically to see what it is that we see out here. So uh, now that also being said, give me, because you didn't want to look at the futures contract. Um, Give me a uh, give me a second to pull that up. But but even though that's what you asked for, and I'm going to give that to you, um, and you're asking about the S and P 500, the the more important chart, believe it or not, is going to be the Nasdaq. Um, but but I'm going to give you the the information that you're asking for about the S and P 500. But let me clarify uh, for you what it is that I mean, and only because I have these charts here open uh, just to make it easier. If I take a look at the ES Mini. Just an example, and there's no real topping signal that I have out here uh, when I take a look at the weekly chart for the ES Mini. So, so just, just that as it is, and the same thing is going to be true when I take a look at the S&P 500 cash indice or the SPY or anything. No topping signal for the patterns that I use out here. That is not the case inside the NQ. That's why I believe the NQ is really more important to be watching than the um, – other than the S&P 500. Now, this is the weekly chart here for the NQ right now. And what we can see is that price has begun moving higher, doing less relative energy. That is one of the uh, one of the elements of the Rhodes Momentum Indicator top or bottom signal here, in this case, the topping signal. If at the end of this week we see some type of bearish reversal candle, it would confirm that pattern. But we can also see at 76.97, that's Stevie's green line. So really, we'd be looking for not just a bearish reversal candle, this week, which would be a topping pattern. The NASDAQ can go ahead and take the markets lower. 
Um, we would also want to see a, a close below 76.98. That number is going to change, obviously, but uh, that is the general vicinity. And if I do the same with all the other weekly chart uh, formations out there, same thing is going to come into play. No topping signal uh, per se. With regard to the S&P 500, we don't know whether there's a bearish reversal candle that's going to form this week, which is why we start with the shorter term time frame charts like we did at the open uh, this morning, the open of the show, I should say, um, in taking a look at the two-hour time frame, because I believe though the messages from the two-hour charts are the ones that are most important, at least right now, on July the 8th. Um, with regard to the S&P on a weekly basis, the cash indice out here, I disregard the TAS market profiles that show up on this chart out here. And if we take a look at it, uh, the reason I say there's no topping signal per se, there's no topping pattern. There's no roads momentum indicator top as there was back here at the highs. Uh, the highs that I'm referring to is back in uh, September, October of uh, 2018 out there. So there were the patterns. You also had the TD setup uh, pattern going on. She had a combination of things that just said warning Will Robinson. We don't have that in place right now. With regard to what's the S&P 500 going to uh, do, so your question is, um, as, uh, in the, both of them, in essence, well, in Alex's cases, are things going to move higher? Well, Alex, your question with regard to things moving higher, hopefully I'm tying this stuff together well enough for everybody out there, uh, is going to be a price point inside the ES Mini at 2996 Sorry about that. Call it 2997 out there. If price were to close above that, Alex, then the signal is that uh, price should move higher. Whether it's for the entire week, that I don't know, but should at least test then Friday's highs out there. Friday, we saw price test both the prior day's high and prior day's low, generated a key reversal session out here, um, but not until price, and there's a new profile that is attempting to form. Uh, support is 29.51. I won't know if this profile is going to take hold until tomorrow. We're using Stevie's uh, advanced Doppler system out here. But 29.97, Alex, in the ES Mini, 29.97, John, in the ES Mini, will be helpful to you as well with regard to what the intent of the uh, markets are. As long as we're on this page, we can see you've got new potential profiles in the NQ as well as inside the Dow. Now, the beauty of that is it provides us with support and resistance you, that you or I would otherwise not know. And it's very relevant out here. So if the uh, NQ is going to, we took a look at the weekly chart out here, and this is the beauty of, of assessing things and putting it together, at least from Stevie's perspective out here. We know about the we know about price moving higher, doing less relative energy out there inside the NQ. Um, I'm also going to go ahead and pull up the NDX 100. You'll see, in essence, the same thing. They're the same pattern play out on the weekly time frame. So inside the NQ with its new profile, 77.63, is going to be a key level out here. What we can see is that's the bottom of the of the box of the profile. And uh, if we were to get a close below that level, it'd be the first time uh, closing below support, if you will, coming off of the June 3rd low out there. So that would that could be or uh, would be um, a uh, potential change in trend signal. So also you, Alex, you'd be watching the 7763 area out here. Here is the weekly chart for the NDX 100. You'll see it's in essence doing the same thing. There's a little black diagonal line drawn on my chart out here. Now the number or Stevie's green line for it would be 7637 so approximately a close below that on a weekly basis says we could pull back now pull back to where well pull back would be either the low of the june so that june 3rd area or you could see price pull all the way back to 641298 if we do get a top out here i would say more likely than not a price move down to 6412 98 inside the NDX 100 would be the likely. And that's coming from the weekly time frame charts out here. Uh, and so I believe that it is the NDX 100. I believe it is the NQ that are going to be the uh, indices for us to look at. Now, what happens if, in fact, price continues to motor on higher out here? 
I believe we're still in a consolidation pattern. Here is the S&P 500. You asked for it specifically. If we take a look at the S&P 500, I would just simply connect the resistance stock. Dot, in essence, would be the high of January, the week of January 22nd, the high of the week of September 17th. This is 2018. You'll see that diagonal line. This week, that number would be approximately 3025 out there. So price could bounce up to the 3025-ish level. And with the daily profile that is out there, you close above that, that would be your signal that that would be the pattern that would be underway out there. The New York Stock Exchange is uh, is saying, you know, whoa, 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 hold your horses kind of thing out here. It's showing that it's got uh, some type of uh, bug, so to speak. I don't know if this is just a cold, you know, and uh, or if this is going to turn into something more than a cold out here. And price has been moving higher. Uh, but it's been doing it in the face of a falling advanced decline oscillator reading. Those are the green diagonal lines you see on the upper portion of my screen and the lower portion of my screen. They say to be careful out here. Um, the, the pattern may just be nothing more than a retracement. That I don't know. But because you and I have these new market profiles, it makes it easy for us to understand, is it just a retracement, meaning price pulling back to support, or is it something more than that? So, John and Alex, in answering your question, hopefully I've done with regard to what is it that we see from a weekly perspective scenario and the S&P 500 on a weekly basis, I don't have a pattern that is as significant as the one in the NQ or the NDX 100. And so, therefore, let's focus our time there as to what the market's true intent is for this week. We'll be right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that 
many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, uh, folks. Uh, hey, if you're listening in at your normal time, 1.30, it's actually 8.30 in the morning recording today's show. Here at 8.30, uh, I'll do the tomorrow's show at the regular time and then also do uh, one of Tom's segments. I don't I think it's the 3 to 4. Yeah, it isn't 3 to 4 tomorrow on Tuesday. And then uh, I'll be off Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So no shows uh, those days out there. Right now, we've got the Dow Equity Futures uh, are off about 74 points. S&P down uh, 6. And uh, you can uh, reach out to me if you're listening live. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, 877-927-664. You can send me an email, steve at tfnn.com. Just put radio show question if you would in the subject heading, of course, in the Tiger's Den. Any ping will do. So uh, what do we want to take a look at next? No questions in the queue. I'm going to assume that folks want to go take a look at uh, Goldilocks. So if we take a look at Goldilocks out here, what's the uh, key for us to be uh, looking at? Well, the key is going to be its TAS market profile. So support and resistance out here. As we put those up on the screen for you, you can see that uh, Friday's action out here, uh, where we saw that move lower, about 20 bucks or so, a little bit more than I think interest session price inside the gold contract got down on Friday to a low of 13.88. Now at 13.92.50, price, by the way, closed back above that level, 13.92.50. That's the bottom of the daily profile. It'll require probably two closes below that level, 13.92.50, to suggest that a change in trend is underway. I suggest that you be cautious on gold if you are long. Put your stops in play out here. There are just simply too many topping signals to suggest otherwise. They're all over the place when we take a look at gold. What do you mean, jelly bean? Long term wise, we've talked about this. 1434 is a key level out here. It takes us back into August of 2013. That stopped the advance of gold. At the same time that it was doing that, on a weekly basis out here, gold was completing an A to B equals CD out here. It did that at the 1438 level. It created a shooting star last week based on the close, was a close below the low of that shooting star. Yeah. And that was follow through to the downside. This pattern says be cautious out here. I didn't say you have to close out the trade. I said make sure that you adjust your stops. The weekly has a topping pattern. The monthly, that's what we're looking at here right now, has a topping pattern. The daily has a topping pattern. A TD set up nine count where bar eight was the actual high out there. If price closes below that 1392.50, what I want you to anticipate is a pullback to support to where price broke out most recently. That's the price point to 1336.60. Will price stop there on any decline? I don't know. I don't think so, but I don't know. So if I don't think so, how can you say that if you don't know? I would just say it closed below 1336.60. You then looking at 1272 out here. Um, so just simply be careful. Support has not broken. And because support is not broken, I can't give you the signal to say, hey, you got just must be aware of the topping patterns that are present inside of Goldilocks. And then you just kind of go from there. If you look at a 30 minute time frame chart here for uh, gold, uh, you can see some intraday levels to be watching uh, to the downside, 1400.50 and 1394.20. Those are on a 30 minute break basis breakout levels out there. Um, so that's what I see when I take a look at Goldilocks. I suggest being very, very careful out there. 
Let's take a look at uh, Lightsweed Crude. Haven't looked at that for a while. Let's go see what patterns we have going on inside of Lightsweed Crude. Let's actually find the uh, contract out here. Let's put it up on our screen. You've got Lightsweed Crude. Uh, is it the... Uh it is. It's trading out at um, 57.38, down 13 pennies out here. Uh, let me just expand this out and get rid of a few things so we can actually read it. Okay, so if we take a look at Lightsweed Crude right now, what we know is that uh, price last week looks like on um, – Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, something along those lines, 56.07. Look, that's the bottom of its daily profile out here. So price is trading within the range of its daily profile, the top of which is 59.93, the bottom of which is 56.07 out there. If we take a look at Lights We Crew, the daily time frame out here, we can see that the bar following bar nine of the TD setup nine count uh, was the high out there. So there's a topping signal. We can also see that price pulled back and tested, not just was it testing the bottom of that daily profile, it was also testing Stevie's red line at 56.51. So here's the key with regard to Lights We Crew. We know it's got on a daily basis, got a topping signal. Price now, when you get that topping signal, what does it do? It sends price back to support. Well, we we can see that support is held inside Lightsweet Crude. If price closes below 56.07, price will move all the way back to its breakout area. That was at 51.72. That's the price point out here. Resistance, 63.02. But at this stage of the game, on a daily basis, Lightsweet Crude has generated a topping signal. That's what we see there. Silver, we haven't looked at uh, silver out here. Can we look at silver? Sure, we can do anything we want. Um, let's uh, do this. Let's go take a look at, uh, put up the silver contract, take a look at its profiles out here. And as we do that, we can see that price is trading below the bottom of its box out there. So give me a second. I want to pull up uh, silver on my other system as well out here just to look for patterns. So very interesting. So this morning, the counter trend rally, that's what we have to call it, because on Friday, price closed below support out there. And if we take a look at this morning, the actual high this morning is uh, 15.14. The bottom of the box is 15.14. So watch silver today. Maybe that's going to give you a nice clue with regard to what its intent is today. It's signaling potentially that the counter trend rally is over. If I look at a 30 minute chart out here for some type of signal, I don't have that in play as we speak. And I don't have resistance out here till 1536. So I'm not seeing a signal here at 837 a.m. Uh, maybe you'll see something at 137 in the afternoon out there. With regard to silver, we know that uh, price is below the bottom of its uh, profile out here. If I pull over the uh, silver contract and take a look at any other patterns, we can see the rose momentum indicator bottom. But nothing here. Uh, oops, I didn't really. Well, I take that back. There is a guy. I take that back. I stand fully corrected out here. There was a topping pattern out here inside of silver. It's called the Gartley cell pattern. It looks like this. We can go ahead. I Hopefully we can do that. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and color that pattern in just so you can see that. So so this is in, in honor of uh, Larry Pesavento, who's going to follow this show, obviously, live. And then it would be David White at the 1 o'clock show. But here is the uh, Gartley uh, cell pattern that formally get rid of the A to B equals CD out there. And so we've got a confirming pattern here, confirming topping pattern. The reason why I say confirming, because of the bearish engulfing candle session uh, that had formed. So price has gone back to support. And uh, well, this shows a different profile. Oh, this is a showing a different profile. Don't go with this profile. We're going with the profile out here on my e-signal system out there. So uh, Silver says that, hey, it has formed a top. Now, every Gartley cell pattern has five potential. Did I say potential? I mean five potential outcomes out here. And if we take a look at a couple more of those outcomes before we go to the breakout here, the next outcome to the downside, $14.83. It's a gross with TF and If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. 
The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in a Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, uh, folks. So uh, Ruby and the Tigers Den wants to take a look at uh, Coco out here. So if we take a look at uh, Coco, uh, speaking of Coco, how about that? Uh, how about that uh, tennis uh, star Coco from uh, down right here, right here in uh, Delray Beach? Uh, so I don't know when she plays next, but uh, certainly exciting to uh, to see her play out there but coco right now ruby i know you're looking for an exit here's what i can share with you price is taking on resistance that's the top of it so uh daily profile and that's at 2552 you're 2565 out there now closing above that uh would be uh bullish you see a series of uh, higher lows and higher highs out here so everything here looks uh, pretty good um, and looks like, uh, you know, the target might be up in the uh, 2834 area. We're not going to go there because we've got other tools that you and I can go take a look at that say, you know, okay, caution. So are you in the trade? I don't know if you're in the trade. Uh, you're asking for a, a potential exit. I don't see, I, I would just suggest a stop as we speak right now, knowing, because we don't know if price is going to, at the end of the day, we don't know, even, you know how I hate that, uh, that uh, those, those words out there. Um, we don't know if at the close, today price is going to close over resistance the top of that profile or not out there but we're going to go take a peek and see what else we can find out uh, one of the things we can find out is this move higher ruby uh, is being done with less relative energy that alone is not an issue it can become an issue if you were to see some type of bearish reversal signal let's do a wave count out here from the lows the low that uh, my eye picks uh, my, my eye spy with my little eye a low from march 21st so what we'll see out here, and that doesn't necessarily have to be the low for us to do our wave count. We could come right here to that hammer, that little TD setup nine count bottom that formed back.
back in May. And, but that would give you either wave six or seven, E or F out here. We know to always be watchful for wave number uh, uh, seven, letter G. Uh, no TD setup, uh, nine count patterns or anything like that, but price moving higher, doing it with less relative uh, energy out there. Just as be cautious, that's all. So it just stops, but not to exit. That's what the daily time frame chart shows us. If we look at the weekly time frame chart, now this is the continuous contract for Coco. You can see how the actual high out here back in April 2018 was your TD setup uh, nine count pattern. If we do the uh, waves on a weekly basis, your wave number five to the upside out here. Um, you can see a weekly profile level that's also being uh, dealt with. So you've got uh, up in this area, the top of a weekly profile, the top of a daily profile. Again, no reason to exit necessarily other than just continue to be cautious. In other words, when I say no reason to exit, you know, it's almost as if I was going to say, hey, you should exit. Well, then that means you should go short. Well, no, not necessarily out here. You can see the nice roads momentum indicator bottom that uh, Coco formed. Uh, this on a monthly basis. So this is longer term back in July. Uh, that was in 2017 out here. So the target to the upside, uh, Ruby, most certainly longer term. I don't know what your time frame is. Could be, uh, in essence, those previous highs from back in April of 2018 out here. So that's one possible. So th those are your possible abilities. Here's what we know right now. At 8.45 in the morning, price is over resistance. But we do know there's resistance out there. And in fact, we also know there's another level of resistance, longer term resistance out here. This is taking the continuous contract for Coco. This is a monthly basis out here. This takes us back to 1997. And what this does, this generates its monthly horizontal trading range boundary lines. And what you'll see out here, there's been four closes, Ruby, at the 25.85 level. We're trading at 25.65 as we speak. Um, that is resistance. You'd love to see if you're long, price close above that level. If it closes above that level, that suggests to move back to these highs out here in April of 2018. I can turn on the midpoint lines as well, uh, the midpoint lines, which is where you can see a reversal in trend out here. For example, those are the little dotted lines that just showed up. If you look at the lows back here in 2017, it was at that midpoint level, 1763, where price found support. Likewise, when we come back and take a look at where resistance was in April of 2018, it was also at that midpoint level at 28.59. So let me sum it up for you like this, Ruby. Um, price is trading right into resistance, whether it's the top of a daily box, which is slightly above, or the top of the weekly box, which is slightly above. You've certainly got this monthly horizontal trading range area. All this just simply suggests adjusting stops inside this trade, inside this long trade out here. Not to exit it and most certainly not to go short just yet because there is no such signal. You just simply know you're in resistance and therefore as the pilot of your plane, I have just put on, as you've noticed, the fasten seatbelt signs for Coco or Cuckoo for Coco Puffs out there. So thanks for asking. I hope that that helps you out. Now, Tucker, Tucker wants to go take a look at natural gas out here. If we go take a look at natural gas, it's trading out at 2.403. This is the September contract for natural gas. Uh, and this is on a daily basis. So we know that price is trading above the top of its box, which is 237. A price closed over that 237 level on Friday, signaling that, hey, it wanted to continue to move higher. Let me try to get my other charts up and going here just so we can... Uh, See if there's any other signals out there. Uh, it's just taking me a moment to get down to the end. So there we go. We got natural gas. We got, uh, do we have September? We do not. I've got August. Uh, what I can do is put up the continuous contract. So, Tucker, I apologize for this. Uh, it'll take too long to reset the symbols, um, but that's okay. We're, we're, we're in good shape to go ahead and use the continuous contract. Disregard price, per se out here uh, if you're trading the actual contract. Um, but if we look here, what natural gas generated was a rose momentum indicator bottom signal. Did that when you had that bull sash candle on June 24th. So price was moving lower. It was doing it with less relative energy. We saw those signals, those black diagonal lines being drawn. You got a bullish reversal signal. That's how the market talks, walks, and squawks communicates to both you and I. Price was above Stevie's red line on that level. You're trading above the uh, daily profile. There's 
no wave count uh, for us to be worried about. You're only in wave number three out here. Uh, it looks like it wants to continue to mosey along and trade higher. Let me see. Dangerous, probably. Let me try this. Uh, when I say let me try this, let me pull back here. Do I have natural gas on my synthetic contract out here? Do I, do I, do I? I don't. Odd. I don't. Okay, so I don't, and uh, let me come back here to this. I'm only going to put on a weekly time frame profile for you, see if there was anything that I could find there. Um, turn this off. Let me turn this on, and let me make sure I turn on the weeklies as well. I'm just trying to provide Tucker with an idea. So, Tucker, as we put the weekly profiles on here, you can see this for you can see this for yourself live. It would appear to me that what natural gas is doing is making a run up to the top of that weekly profile. And that's at 2.491 out there. That is the September contract. Uh, is there anything else that I see? If I look at this weekly chart out here, mm, yeah, I don't see anything out there that is of significance. So just looks to me like you've got a little bit more rally at least left inside of the move higher of natural gas. That ought to take price up to $2.49. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. ES Mini off about seven points. Gold up six. We'll be right back. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get the competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. 
Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, uh, folks. Again, this uh, show being recorded uh, this morning between 8 and 9. It's 8.54 in the morning, but making the show as pertinent as we can for you at 1.54 if you're listening in. Tomorrow, we'll be recording it uh, at the normal time from 1 to 2. I'll be off Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of uh, this week. Uh, presently, the Dow equity futures down about 78 points. S&P off 7. NASDAQ down 28. Um, Apple, if we take a look at what's going on in the pre-market out here, uh, Apple closed its session on Friday, 204.23. Trained down to a one and a quarter. Uh, not unexpected. That is trading lower out here. I know you're going to say, what do you mean, Steve? Look, there's a handful of tools that you and I use to help us identify when markets uh, top and bottom. One of those is uh, the uh, is the uh, wave count out here. If we take a look at the wave count, that's the Chapman wave count, not the Chapman wave pattern for that. You need to buy Basil's uh uh, book and attend his workshops and he'll teach you exactly uh, how it is that he does what he does out here if you take a look at apple this by the way formed a bottom with the td setup nine count the bar following bar nine that was on june the third out there so that pattern was in play and now if we do our wave count to the upside what we know is that uh, friday's intraday high uh, got it to wave number seven that is letter g watch the 200.85 uh, price in the pre-market that by the way is stevie's red line we're trading at 201.20 out there um so watch that now wave seven can be extended if we see a higher high today wave seven just simply gets extended out here so stevie's red line or green line actually is what you're watching on the three time frame charts out here a price is trading above its daily profile that's at 200.85 also, uh, so where Stevie's green line is, so that's going to be important. If price closes below that level, you're looking at 197.69 or maybe even the bottom of that daily profile, 192.41. So, folks, uh, stay tuned. Obviously, if you're listening at 9, Larry Pesavento's up next. If it's 1, it's uh, David White, our favorite polar bear. So have a, a magnificent Monday. I'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow, July the 9th. Have a great day, folks.